here it is day 12 day 12 i got all the terrariums out let me go ahead and take a look at some of them let's see let's see what this would look like uh not much i see some worm castings in there Not much really alive. I don't see it. Do y'all see it? No, I don't. I see an ant. I see an ant. That's good. At least an ant is in there. Somebody's alive. This one has no bugs in it, but we can see that the plant is doing good. Um... Does this one have any pucks? If they are, they're dead. And probably non existent. Oh, let's just take a look. Alright, we can see some mold fungi growing in there. Already? I think I, this is one of the newer ones I just made. Is there goes that plant. I came from grandparents' house. I'm gonna need to, I guess, add some more bugs in here. I mean, some more um, springtails. All right. Because we, we can see mold up in there. It started building up even fast and you know, fast like that one built up. But um, I think this one, the mold wasn't that bad. This one. It had the spider in here, but it looked like, you know, it ran away or probably escaped. But, um, things look fine, I guess, so far in here. I don't see anybody alive, so... We may have to add some more springtails. To these, uh, terrariums. I don't see no mold. It's, um, definitely... Hold on, let me take a look, open up this one. Okay, I see a isopod and an ant in here. I saw, I saw an isopod and an ant in here. So I, I guess that's good this one. I'll have to see, could I get some more springtails in there? And this one is doing fine. You know, no bugs except for that worm we did see on the side. He probably crawled inward. Uh, yeah, there's some moisture starting to build up. So, um, let's go in and get the springtails and introduce it to this one. All right. Let's see, can we try? Oh, I see one on this little branch. He probably jumped. Yeah, he did. He jumped. Alright. Let's see, can I get some? Put them up in there. Yep, I did. Alright, let's go on and zoom in. That little springtail, you know, disappeared, but yeah, trying to introduce the little fellas in there so they can get rid of that mold. All right, that's what it looks like. Let's go on and, um, see the springtails in this one. Do y'all see any in there? What do you see? That's a tomato. You think that's one? It should be moving if that's one. All right, well. Let's go ahead and give the spray tail some more time. We'll see you later on tonight. 
about all of these. You got to see the desert terrarium I built. All right. I did lay down, I did work the ground and lay down some seeds. Over there, I did put some more over there. And yeah, put some more over here. Yep, I uh, went on and watered the soil over there on the side. I got a water over here on this side. I'm gonna hit that back side also. I think the soil is ready. Grow some grass. So yeah, I pushed all the debris over here because right where you see those stones is uh, the cat graveyard. So I don't want to disturb the cat graveyards, obviously. <laughs> I'll just leave that alone. You know, right about where those pots start to go, that's going to be, you know, I guess all the extra debris. And, you know, that's our graveyard over there. Pet cemetery. But yeah, debris, I, I still have to move so I could really make the most of it. But honestly, prioritizing right here and uh let's see if some grass grows matter of fact before we end the episode let me go in and show you how thick the grass grown over here i think it's a real good testament to worm castings more so than my cultivation see along where you see these flowers i put down worm castings and as you can see, the flowers are, are doing great. They, they held up excellent. They're resilient as ever. And also in the place of where you see these flowers is um, some, some grass seeds that have happened to make his way over here. So that's really uh, charming that the testimony of worm castings, how thick this grass could grow, even amongst the flowers. And, and literally, almost like night and day, just in this area. But uh, let me just tell y'all the truth. I personally, more than just the worm castings, went out of my way to cultivate this land this piece of soil i should say for the flowers so it's not just lay down the soil and do nothing you gotta i guess do something and i obviously been working 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 i'm just praying that some grass finally starts growing over here because i went on and worked and worked and also over here now grass stopped growing so hopefully see as you can also see like even here and over there the grass got nice and thick and in that area and right over here in this area so there's potential and as as y'all can obviously see Somebody lives down there. It could be the ground, a uh, groundhog. It could very well be. And that's why the hole got bigger despite it being covered up some. It probably just went up in there and called this place underneath here home. All right, we're out. Day 12.